So one thing that I think really stands me apart with a lot of teachers out there is that I've developed drills that are going to make your life so much easier and your technique so much better. And that's critical and vital to playing the violin, to have good technique, especially in the first month of learning violin. If you don't do some of these things, naturally you're going to build bad habits and just starts not sounding good. And you're not going to be able to progress at that pace that you want to. So these are my best drills that you should be doing for at least two to five minutes a day. If you can't do it every day, at least a couple times a week, just to really try to perfect muscle memory in your hand related to the bow. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to, at this point, we haven't even stroked a, a note yet. Okay. If you've been following lessons one through where we're at. Okay. So, and that's okay. I, I'm intentionally keeping it that way. <laughs> okay. So, um, so we set the bow on the strings and what I want you to do is I want you to start working on building flexibility with the index finger while keeping everything else relaxed, okay? We talked about in the bow hold lesson how critical it is to keep things loose and not press up against the bow, okay? So we're gonna practice what fingers should be used to guide the bow, which is the index, okay? So we set the bow on the strings and see how relaxed my hand is and curved. All the things we talked about related to the bow hold, I'm really emphasizing you to do during this drill, okay? Keeping the thumb curved, the fingers curved on top of the bow, things like that, okay? Index finger this far over, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to just work on flicking the bow back and forth and not, and this is so important, not using the thumb and the pinky to help you flick the bow, okay? Because yeah, I can do that. I can take my thumb and picky and I can totally just flick that bow back and forth. But the problem is that's the stuff that causes bad sounds. And trust me, I've been through this with hundreds and hundreds of private students, if you can avoid not pressing up against the bow with these two fingers, you're going to get a, a good sound very quickly. Okay. So we cannot use those two fingers in this drill. That's, that's critical. So you're only going to be able to go ver so far because you're using this, and you're not used to it. Okay. But this is what it should look like. I'm not using the thumb or pinky, just the index. So I'm getting rid of tension and I'm relying here. So when we're playing and I'm going to show you guys how to actually bow and get a stroke going, when we're transitioning, we're using that finger to transition, to get the bow back and forth. Okay. But most of you guys are using the thumb and the pinky to do that. And that's what causes bow bounce and bow screeches. Okay. So we're trying to really drill for you guys to start using the proper fingers. So I highly recommend working on that for a couple minutes today. And we're going to get another drill going in the next lesson that's critical as well to establishing good, solid tone right off the bat.